There are also levels within levels in your decision making. This is particularly true at the level of the mind. Your mind can and does make decisions and choices from one of at least three interior levels, logic, intuition, and emotion, and sometimes from all three of these. And within the level of emotion, there are five more levels, five natural emotions. They are grief, anger, envy, fear, and love. The five natural emotions include love and fear. Yet love and fear are the basis of all emotions. The other three are outgrowths of these two. Ultimately, all thoughts are sponsored by love or fear. This is the great polarity. This is the primal duality. Everything ultimately breaks down to one of these. All thoughts, all concepts, understandings, decisions, choices and actions are based in one of these. And in the end, there is only one. Love. In truth, love is all there is. Even fear is an outgrowth of love, and when used effectively, expresses love in its highest form. Everything expresses love. Fear in its highest form becomes love. Similarly, Moving up the scale of natural emotions, grief, anger, and envy are all some form of fear, which in turn is some form of love. One thing leads to another. Grief is a natural emotion. It's that part of you which allows you to say goodbye when you don't want to say goodbye, to express, to push out, to propel the sadness within you at the experience of any kind of loss. It could be the loss of a loved one or the loss of a contact lens. When you are allowed to express your grief, you get rid of it. Grief that is continually repressed becomes chronic depression, a very unnatural emotion. People have killed because of chronic depression. Wars have started. Nations have fallen. Anger is a natural emotion. It is the tool you have which allows you to say no thank you. It does not have to be abusive and it never has to be damaging to another. Anger that is continually repressed becomes rage, a very unnatural emotion. People have killed because of rage. Wars have started. Nations have fallen. Envy is a natural emotion. It is the emotion that makes a five-year-old wish to ride a bike the way his sister can. It makes you want to do it again, to try harder to continue striving until you succeed. It is very healthy to be envious, very natural. Envy that is continually repressed becomes jealousy, a very unnatural emotion. People have killed because of jealousy. Wars have started, nations have fallen. Fear is a natural emotion. All babies are born with only two fears, the fear of falling and the fear of loud noises. All other fears are learned responses. The purpose of fear is to build in a bit of caution. And caution is a tool that helps the body keep alive. It is an outgrowth of love. The love of self. Fear that is continually repressed becomes panic. A very unnatural emotion. People have killed because of panic. Wars have started. Nations have fallen. Love is a natural emotion. When it is allowed to be expressed and received normally and naturally without limitation or condition, inhibition or embarrassment, it does not require anything more. For the joy of love expressed and received in this way is sufficient unto itself. Yet love which has been conditioned, limited, warped by rules and regulations, rituals and restrictions, controlled, manipulated and withheld becomes unnatural. Love that is continually repressed becomes possessiveness, a very unnatural emotion. People have killed because of possessiveness. Wars have started. Nations have fallen. And so it is that the natural emotions, when repressed, produce unnatural reactions and responses. And most natural emotions are repressed by most people. Yet these are your friends. These are your gifts. These are your divine tools with which to craft your experience. 
You are given these tools at birth. They are there to help you negotiate life. The time has come for truth telling, plain and simple. But truth is often uncomfortable. It is only comfortable for those who do not wish to ignore it. Then truth becomes not only comforting but inspiring. I would have you know about life, how it works, and why it works the way it works. In truth, you have imprisoned your holy self, and it is time to set yourself free.